hello there you know what i haven't done in forever a complete collection video it's been about six years since we've done it it's time to correct that mistake and get right to the man we have a lot to go over today we're gonna cover it all from nintendo to disney to sony playstation to marvel all of it let's do it rjx 79 full collection 2024 Posters, artwork, Smash Brothers. We got this from Target when Smash Brothers Ultimate first came out. Zelda, Breath of the Wild, poster. Nair, Automata, 2B. Super Mario Brothers 3, one of my favorite games of all time. Galaxy, Super Nintendo World. Gotta love it, Luigi's Mansion, Mortal Kombat. All of my Mario hats. Hey, I got that back from the Nintendo store in New York. Mario, Luigi, Cappy, a Wii back. Hey, there's a Mario painting. I painted that. Let's see. The logo sign that I got from Super Nintendo World in California from Universal Studios. Very nice. Her Skyward Sword poster. My painted Master Sword. I love this so much. I've had this for years now. The Champion shirt. There's the Windbreaker Master Sword. The Pedestal of Time. Painted that myself as well. Uh, Samus's gun. The Ocarina of Time. Poke Ball. We have. Sonic playset, the Sonic movie figures there. That's Green Hill Zone. We have uh, another Sonic playset, the Tornado, some player's guides, Sonic Adventure 2, Ocarina of Time, Wind Waker. We have some of the Mario movie figures there. Basically the entire set, Princess Peach's Castle. Then we have the Amiibos, very nice. I've stated numerous times before, the Smash Brothers Amiibos is what kind of jump-started my collecting bug. Without this, I probably wouldn't have any of this stuff. The majority of it is Smash Brothers, but we also have a lot of Mario and a lot of Zelda as well. Kind of gets us started with the Mario figs here. A lot of the Koopa Kids, that's the figure arts Bowser, Purple Yoshi, then leading us into the Mario stuff, very nice, very, very proud of this, love it. I kind of wish that they would go deeper into some of the Mario characters for figures. I've been wanting a Rosalina and Daisy orange figs for years, but just we still just do not have them. Maybe we'll get them one day, maybe Pauline as well, but still a lot to be desired on the shelf, but ultimately I'm very proud of it. I need to go through each of these one by one really do a distinction between the Mario shelf. Probably not a lot of people or collectors that have as much Mario figures as me. But same thing with the Sonic stuff here. I'm definitely getting to a point where I basically have the core cast of the Mario Jack specific line. Uh, we still need to pick up the Mephiles, the Dark, the Super Sonic, and the classic Knuckles. Oh, this is still going strong, but very, very happy with that. It's literally my entire childhood on these two shelves. And it takes us to The Legend of Zelda, again, kind of separated by games. Twilight Princess, Ocarina of Time, Breath of the Wild, Wind Waker, and Skyward Sword has represented on the shelf, even some Tears of the Kingdom amiibos. Very, very happy to have this portion of the collection. The Texas 2 God of War. Y'all know I'm a huge God of War fan. Got two Kratos, is a friend of Kratos from God of War 3, Zeus, Hades, Hercules, Atreus. I've even got a God of War 2 figure back there as well. Very, very nice. And then I was a, a huge Assassin's Creed fan back in the day. I've kind of fallen off on recent times, but Assassin's Creed 2, the Etsy Auditory Trilogy, Assassin's Creed 3, you know, 4, Black Flag, I was all in. I was pretty much a huge fan until the one with Cassandra. We played through it, but that was the last one I played. After that, I kind of fell off. Once they got into the Viking stuff, I was kind of done. We do have a hidden blade. We have Connor's uh, axe from Assassin's Creed 3. Very happy to have that. Wiggler, it's probably my newest Mario figure. The review of that, it's a really cool figure. Mario shirt, that is a replica Helium shield. Very, very cool. And there's a Master Sword in there too. That is actually has a sharp blade. Uh, Smash Brothers poster, another Nintendo store from New York bag. Uncharted poster, the Last of Us poster, Metroid poster. We have Bioshock Infinite, 
a Nair Autonomous statue by Ghost of Tsushima, Banjo Kazooie. I really need to get that Banjo Kazooie figure because when I get the funds, we will definitely pick him up. Metroid, Samus Aran, get the Vara suit, the Phazon suit, Gravity suit, Zero Suit Samus, a couple of Amiibos, very nice. I've always loved Metroid. Star Fox, Halo, very nice. Got the whole team. I'm happy that they made the four, but they kind of stopped right after that. We never got any villains or anything like that. Master Chief, I played through Halo 3 on Xbox 360. That's the only Xbox 360 game I ever played. Master Chief was a super cool character. Had to get him. Beautiful Joe and Okami. I love those games. Had to pick up figures for them. I'm just happy that they made them. Some Naughty Dog action here. Nathan Drake from 4 and 3. And The Last of Us, Ellie and Joel. There's not, not even any words needed for those games. Uh, Must-haves if you're fans of the game. Then we have the Batman Arkham series. Uh, Batman, Nightwing, Harley Quinn, Joker, Deathstroke in the back there, Robin, Batgirl, Oracle, Catwoman, uh, Red Hood, the Arkham Knight. So cool, so happy to have these figures in here. What they did to Batman in uh, Suicide Squad, we won't even talk about that. This is how I would like to remember this series, just like this. That's all it is to it. Bayonetta, I've always been a huge Bayonetta fan. We still haven't played Bayonetta 3 yet. You know, I just gotta find the time, man. It's tough right now. Ratchet and Clank, I've always been a huge fan. The Tomb Raider, that new trilogy that came out, love, love, loved it. It reminded me a lot of Uncharted, so much fun. Infamous, Cole McGrath, I love this character, Infamous 1 and 2. Even Second Son, played through all of them. Horizon, Zero Dawn, Aloy, gotta love her, got a statue, so sweet, such a fun game. Heavenly Sword, so sad we never got a true sequel to this game. Noriko, love it. Little Big Planet, played 1 and 2, one of my first PlayStation 3 games, such a fun game. Mortal Kombat love-hate relationship with it. Latest one, not my favorite, but I've been this, another franchise I've been playing for 20 plus years. You know, my main has always been Luke Kang. I've always loved Scorpion and Sub-Zero, Shao Kahn, Johnny Cage, Jax, Katana. So cool. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, literally where my fandom started as a child. I was a four-year-old boy when this show premiered on the Fox Network. And as soon as I saw the first episode, I was enthralled for years. You know, I've even met a few of them in person. So, so happy, man. So I was uh, definitely a 90s kid to the core. Got the whole team. We got the Ninjetti suits and we got the Zeo suits. I was uh, enthralled for about three or four seasons. So we had to get them all in. I wish they would make the movie suits. Got some of the villains too. I don't have them all, but definitely the core cast of villains. I could have them. I know I've needed putties for a while, but maybe sooner rather than later. Also got the Right Ranger Saba, the Green Ranger Dagger, and a random there, we got Boo's Mansion, look at that, with some <laughs> Mario creepy characters there. You know, Boo, Dry Bones, Bony Prop, playing, hey, that's King Boo as well. So cool, man. Then some more Mario play sets, Princess Peach's Castle, very cool. We have Bowser's Castle, these are the wristbands that you get at Super Nintendo World. I got a Mario, they've got Princess Peach, the Acorn Plains uh, from Jax. Very cool to have that in. Another cloud set from Jax, very cool. Here says me meeting uh, the voice of Mario Charles Martinet and the voice of Bowser. Another Smash Brothers sign, uh, Super Mario Odyssey poster. And just some anonymous stuff here. Breath of the Wild poster there, a Disney bag. And then the Coupe de Gras, y'all know where we are at now. Part of the crown jewel of my collection, the Dragon Ball SH figure art shelf. Basically, every character Dragon Ball related is going to be on this shelf. You know, the majority of you most likely subscribe to my channel for my coverage and reviews of these figures. I appreciate y'all for that. Basically have all of the Goku forms, all of the Gohan forms, Vegeta, Krillin, Yamcha, Tien, all of the Z-Warriors, all of the villains from Cell and the Androids, the Hit, Zamasu, the Fusions, Vegeta, Gogeta, the Majin Buu fam, 
and the entire freezer force such probably like i said it's the kind of jewel of my collection man super saiyan 4s from gt even some movie characters the gammas turles you know we some beers down there janimba even some customized figures a golden uh, super saiyan 4 goku and vegeta uh, the namek gohan krillin uh, there's the androids the newest uh, parts of the collection some dragon balls yeah gotta love it man dragon ball figures here kid goku krillin uh, king piccolo uh, master roshi uh, town pow pow yeah oh uh, here's me meeting aisha the yellow ranger this is me meeting jason david frank tommy the green ranger rest in peace this is a uh, bowser jr's airship really cool got bowser jr and his cooper clown car there and it's super cool as well ang avatar the last airbender i've always been a huge fan of that show gotta love it some uh, walt disney world christmas hats we're starting to tear into kind of the disney section of the collection now that is a epcot japanese pavilion and a scarf that i got years and years ago it's dragon finding a tiger while disney studios uh, avatar poster a meadow that i got from running a 5k on the disney cruise lightsaber darth vader darth vader helmet star wars popcorn bucket more star wars movie the uh, cups rogue one Another lightsaber that is the Anakin Skywalker episode three. More Dragon Ball, Goku figs, because I've just run out of space. It's one thing, if you collect Dragon Ball SS figure arts, you're gonna have more Gokus than you know what to do with. I need to do a gag video just to show you how many Goku figures I really have. I mean, that's six right there. It's another 15 over here. <laughs> it's insane, man. Anonymous stuff when I travel to New York, Atlanta, Statue of Liberty. This is a Mario cup from the Nintendo store in New York, Empire State Building, Martin Luther King statue, Atlanta, Georgia. Harry Potter, I'm not a huge fan of Harry Potter, but I am a mega fan of Universal Studios. So there's a replica of the Hogwarts Castle, the Hogwarts Express, there's a Harry Potter's wand, Harry Potter figure itself, uh, some men in black glasses. There's some Universal uh, merchandise here. The twosome, uh, that is a milkshake, one of the best in the world. Velocicoaster, Hagrid's motorbike, more Dragon Ball stuff. It's the thing about me, you're always gonna find a healthy amount of Dragon Ball stuff <laughs> in this collection, man. Villacon, the Universal's newest attraction. So it's a very much uh, underrated ride. A lot of people hate it, but I think it's super, super cool. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the other crowning jewel of my childhood. I've always loved Dragon Ball. It's always gonna be my favorite, but when I was first growing up, between the ages of five and probably about 10, the Power Rangers and Ninja Turtles is what I was all about. The movies, one through even three, I really enjoyed. Of course, the passion started at the cartoon. I definitely quickly realized that I wasn't as big as a Turtles fan as I thought when they started releasing all those other characters that I had no clue who they were. But cool for Turtles fans that were able to build their collections like that. But I just wanted the core cast. I was happy with that. As you can see, more Universal stuff. You got the globe, a uh, Marvel Island, Shy Glass, Incredible Hulk. Uh, this is St. Louis Arch. If you've ever been in St. Louis, you go to the middle top of that archway. That is a super cool experience. We did that almost two decades ago. Transformers, uh, the Orlando Eye. I don't even think it's called that anymore. It's just that big Ferris wheel and the uh, tourist part of Orlando. Just kind of show you when we travel to Florida, we do more stuff besides just Disney and Universal Studios. <laughs> Avatar, The Last Airbender. I love this cartoon. Me and my brother watched it faithfully all three seasons. We just have the core cast. It's Aang, Katana, you know, Saka, Tal, Zuko, Tyler uh, Ozai, Azula. Very cool, happy to have this set in. I wish, you know, Figure Arts or NECA or someone else would capture this brand so we can get some super cool action figures of this series but what we got here suffices for now just more posters and strategy guides a zelda book okami strategy guide not game informer man i haven't bought a game informer in decades <laughs> grand theft auto 5 when it originally came out for the playstation 3 that's when i played it <laughs> yeah dark knight stuff yeah 
There's a, here, here's a little cool tidbit here. Comic-Con bracelets and wristbands here. I see with some Disney wristbands thrown in there too. I've been going to cons for a few years now. If you caught any of those cosplay videos, I really do appreciate that. My channel has taken a heavy turn towards that. You know, I've found a passion for it, so that's where we are. Okay, now the Disney stuff. Oh man, it's probably the most expensive side of my collection here. We have a 50th anniversary Disney Mickey ears, the entry sign to Walt Disney World. This was a monorail playset. A lot of this stuff's not even available anymore. We have an Epcot, I think this was the 20th anniversary Spaceship Earth, you know, replica of the attraction. Very happy to have that. One of my crowning achievements, this is the Oswalski Cinderella Castle that does illuminate. You know, picture of my family when I was a kid, picture of my new family when I was an adult. We have a replica of Galaxy's Edge, the Millennium Falcon, very cool Haunted Mansion Cup, the Mickey's uh, Magical Express that has since retired, discontinued, RIP. And then we have the Disney uh, Transport Bus Test Track, the car soaring. Definitely take a pride in knowing that I have uh, the vast majority of attractions. Uh, something from the souvenir store from basically all of them. We have the Hollywood Tower of Terror. We have uh, Bell. We have uh, the replica of the hotel itself. Guardians of the Galaxy. The ride ship. Two of them. Tree of Life from Animal Kingdom. Expedition Everest. Jedi Mickey. That is an avatar drum from the Flight of Passage. Uh, that is an Adventures Campus water bottle. Tron Light Cycle, the ride vehicle. Disney 100 Years of Wonder. This that is a, one of those blocks that you can move around, put it together. Uh, Radiator Springs Racers mug. Mickey's Runaway Railroad mug. Splash Mountain mug, RIP. I will always love that ride, but I am super excited for Tiana's Bayou Adventure. We have uh, Cinderella Castle, that is from uh, Disneyland, California, the original. Then we had a, a Flight of Passage mug at the bottom there, very nice. Anonymous pins that we've collected over the years. Cruise line, marching band, a butterfly. It's just a daisy figure, Donald Duck figure. Of course, we got Mickey and Minnie up there as well. We have a Main Street trash can, that Disney Cruise Line mug, Norway from Epcot, Admiral Donald, that is the statue that you see on the Disney Dream. This is a motto of the Disney Dream. Uh, Cinderella is a, a statue that you first see when you walk onto the Disney Wish. Space Mountain Cup, Dumbo, the France Pavilion, the Eiffel Tower, uh, Casey's Corner, get yourself a hot dog from there. The Lion King on Broadway, the a medallion, a castaway key, had a mug from there. And that is Mickey and a Matterhorn. Uh, we have uh, a Sleeping Beauty castle from Paris, even though we technically we've never been. I saw a good price for it when I was hunting for the Sleeping Beauty castle. I couldn't pass it up. And this we have a uh, Topolinos from the Riviera Resort. Got a picture there. The Galaxy's Edge Dark Saber from the Mandalorian. Space Mountain poster, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad poster. Splash Mountain poster, poster of Ahsoka. We have a Pirate Mickey, I got that from the Pirates of the Caribbean. Slinky Dog Dash toy of the attraction right here. We have the Spider-Man from uh, Disney's California Adventure, very cool. We have the Monorail coming out of the Contemporary Resort. Really, really love this attraction here. Uh, we have stayed here once. If you see this video, I'll go ahead and let you know now. This is the resort we are staying at on our next Disney World trip, so stay tuned for that. Very, very excited to do a room tour of that for you guys from my perspective. The Walt Disney World Railroad, very cool. World of Color mug or cup there. Some more lightsabers. Uh, this is the Galaxy Edge lightsaber that I myself created. Just a Luke Skywalker in the episode six lightsaber, the green one. Hasbro, dark saber. Uh, I did a comparison video of this one and the one from Disney World. The Hasbro kind of outclasses it. They start getting into some more of the Disney stuff leading into Star Wars. That is the since retired minivan. That's pretty cool. We have the Jedi and the Sith holochromes there from Galaxy's Edge, super cool. A Pixar ball, happiest place on earth that is from Disneyland. Christmas mug from uh, Disney World, way up there on Christmas. We have some Galaxy Edge Coke bottle. 
I have a Sprite one too. I don't know where it's at though. Oh, there it is right there. See it? Nice power cup. Got that on the cruise. That should take us to the Star Wars shelf. This one we have Boba Fett. Uh, the Mandalorian has some figure arts. Thrawn over there. Very nice. We have some characters from Ahsoka. That's Kyle Kestis from Jedi Survivor. Uh, Commander Cody. And again, fighting Obi Wan. Then take it to the main shelf. We have all of our core cast of main characters Anakin, Luke, Vader, Palpatine, Dooku, Kylo Ren, Darth Maul, Raya, uh, Darth Ray, uh, Soka, Mando, uh, Cara Dune, Boba, Han, pretty much everybody. At least all of the characters that have somewhat some importance to me is Bo Katan, Mace Windu, Ray, Leia. I haven't been a Star Wars fan for super long, but of the years of passion that it's given me from the movies to the Mandalorian series on Disney Plus, very happy to uh, have these figures in for sure. And uh, while we're on the subject of Star Wars, just some Galaxy's Edge Kyber crystals. We got green, yellow, white, red, and blue. Disney Infinity figures. I have a cool story about this. When the Toys R Us in my city was closing, I went in there, I was trying to find a bargain on something random. They had all of these for a dollar a piece. That's right, a dollar a piece. I couldn't believe it. I was like, give me all of them. <laughs> we have the Inside Outcast, Baymax and that crew, Captain Jack Sparrow, The Incredibles, Toy Story, of course, Mickey and Minnie, Donald, Tinkerbell, Frozen, uh, Mulan, Wreck It Ralph, Monster Zinc, Stitch, Zootopia, Jungle Book, Tron. Aladdin, even some Star Wars stuff and some Marvel stuff back there. Some anonymous Disney figures as well. Wally, I love that movie. Just got those just off of a whim because I'm doing just such a thrill when that movie came out. Mr. Incredible, it's a piglet, it's a happy metal toy from uh, from the I think the uh, 100th Disney anniversary. Bo Peep, I got Chip and Dale. I love that cartoon when I was little. So when those figures came out, I don't even remember what brand that's from, but I had to have them. Uh, there's a uh, Captain Hook from Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, Sealed Sorcerer's Mickey, Peter Pan, uh, Disney Vacation Club member, Mug there, very nice. Uh, some anonymous bags from the Mickey's Halloween party. Oh, those boots, let's boo this. And then we're keeping them back from our so many trips to Disney World. There's a Walt Disney World Mickey's glove. All right, moving on to a new section, kind of. We have a, another Disney World book in the back there. It's kind of from back in the day, maybe like the early 2000s or so. Uh, then we have our Muhammad Ali figures. Uh, I am a native of Louisville, Kentucky. Obviously, Muhammad Ali is from Louisville, Kentucky as well. So it's only natural for me to add one of my real life heroes to my shelf in figure form. Same with Michael Jordan. Who doesn't like Michael Jordan? Come on, man. They made a figure of him I had to have him but we do not have LeBron <laughs> sorry you know, if they made a Kobe figure I would get him but no to LeBron no <laughs> then that kind of brings us into our Marvel section finally we ran out of room on the main shelf so a lot of the Disney Plus figures is uh, over here kind of the end uh, uh, when I stopped collecting the MCU we kind of been on a hiatus from the MCU figures because I just don't see the point anymore. The quality of the movies is just not there. Kind of reminds me of the DC stuff. We have a lot. We have a lot, man. The Snyder, Justice League, Dark Knight, the Batman with Robert Pattinson, uh, or Dark Knight stuff. Animated series, Batman, some obscure Arkham stuff, the Suicide Squad, have one random cyborg back there, Dark Side, Henry Cavill, Superman, just, I'm happy to have some of this stuff. Definitely not my favorites from the collection though. I just, a mixed happy hate relationship with some of this DC stuff, man, truly. A controversial part of my, and oh, don't let me not forget to mention all the random Disney books that I picked up too. I'm just trying to research. This is before the age of the internet, people. I'm kind of old. <laughs> so, you know, before you can just get on YouTube and the internet and Google and just research all this stuff. You know, you had to go down to your local library or your local Barnes and Nobles and get books to try to, you know, read and see how the hell to navigate that city of a place. Yep, fun times. Then that takes us to the MCU, the Eternals, look at that. And I know a lot of people don't like this movie, but I actually enjoyed it. I'm happy to have those figures in. There's some random popcorn buckets. Got Thor, Love and Thunder. 
I did not enjoy this movie, but I actually bought these figures before the movie came out, so that's why they're here. And that takes us to the core MCU shelf. Starting off with an Infinity War poster. Don't mind this Lion King poster. Did better by me. The original 1994 The Lion King is my most favorite movie of all time. Always has been, always will be. We have Tony, Steve, Natasha, Peter. <laughs> All of the MCU characters you can possibly think of, you know, at least the important ones, that they're going to be on this shelf. I'm very, very proud of this you know, throughout the course from the original Iron Man all the way up until, I'd say about, we go Wakanda Forever, Shang-Chi. I love 90% of these movies. Those are a few stinkers for sure. Thor 2, uh, Thor 1. Uh, <laughs> you know, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, not my favorite either. But the vast majority of these films, I loved, man. I really did. And I am so happy to have this uh, collection and the shelf. Like I said, I'm taking a bit of a hiatus from the Marvel Legends. I mean, we get a sprinkle here and there, but we're definitely far fetched from where we were a few years back during the height of the Infinity Saga. Then that takes us to a lot of the Spider-Man stuff. We got the animated and all the movie stuff kind of interjected into one. Got the Doc Ock, he's one of our newest. I got the Tom Holland kind of movie set there. And then you got some Spider-Man PS4, Maxim Spider-Man over there, there's Miles Morales. There's some of the original uh, Spider-Man suit, the Pizza Spidey. It's probably one of my favorites still. Very happy to have that in. We have our Tobey Maguire and our Tom Holland. Uh, I ordered Andrew from Hasbro Pulse. He still has yet to hit my collection. You know, I ordered him back in like last year. He was supposed to get here in January. I don't know, he's just not here. I don't know, <laughs> it sucks. Uh, into the Spider-Verse. We got the figures from the original movie. We really didn't get any from the sequel. I don't know, I was good, man. Even though I did love the movie, just didn't get any figures from it. X-Men, the original X-Men. Gotta love that. The Jim Lee stuff. Always been a huge X-Men fan. Who wasn't in the 90s? Just saying. Or X-Men stuff. Had Deadpool, Cable, Dark Phoenix, Magneto, Brotherhood of Mutants down there. Then we have some movie some Marvel stuff here from the X-Men and Deadpool. And they have our Hugh Jackman, Logan, uh, Magneto, The Professor, and Mystique, Deadpool, Cable, and Diamondo. Very happy to have that stuff in. Then we have a random, the Marvel, Netflix figures of series. Deadpool, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, The Punisher. Electra, very happy to have that stuff in as well. A lot of this is super rare now, especially since Daredevil has made a reappearance in, in Echo and getting his own show. We have some Marvel Legends weapons here. Had Cap Shield, uh, Thor's hammer, Iron Man's helmet, uh, Sutor from Thor, some movie cups, and the uh, Nano Gauntlet. We also have the Infinity Gauntlet over there, the Chalice Mask. Uh, Peter's uh, Iron Spider helmet. Also have some Ned Lee and MJ, Peter Parker action there. I just ran out of room. The Goblin's glider, some Dark Knight Battle Rams, and Joker's knife. Also, don't let me forget to mention the more uh, Disney World attraction posters, Small World Pirates of the Caribbean, Haunted Mansion, Jungle Cruise, and this is a signed poster from all the Broadway performers from The Lion King. Then we have our Cars. Uh, I absolutely loved the Cars movie series, man. I'm the real one. So good. We have Lion McQueen, the Mater, the Sally, Sheriff, basically every main character, Jackson Storm. So cool, man. So, so cool. Then we have some Marvel What If characters. Kind of went crazy with the first season, the Spidey, the Captain Carter, she's basically the main character. Doctor Strange, that's not the Doctor Strange from the What If, but that's added them to that because I just had an extra one. T'Challa, there's the last T'Challa uh, voice performance that he did before Chadwick Boseman passed away, so that was pretty special to me. We have uh, the Return of the Jedi posted there, Hulk. There's a Cap poster, an Iron Man poster. Got all those from Target, that's pretty cool. Black Panther poster. A random Walt Disney World map kind of poster action going on there. Flight of Passage Pandora poster there. Another is Walt Disney World Railroad poster. Sunset Tree Terrace. And where the boxes start. I have so many boxes, it's not even funny. Country Bear Jamboree. Adventureland. Snow White Scary Adventures. 
Art of Animation, a random Spider-Man No Way Home pizza box cover. Why not? Now, all of my Smash Brothers Amiibo <laughs> uh, cards there. Why not? All my furnace of all places. Then we have a Miles Morales into the Spider-Verse figure here. Kind of standing upside down. Really, really loving that. Games. Games, games, games. You didn't think I would have all these figures and not have the games that represent them, <laughs> did you? A uh, ton of Switch games, a ton of PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 games. I have a Smash Brothers hat. I actually got that hat from the Nintendo Switch World Tour that was traveling across the country to showcase the Nintendo Switch. It's Mario Brothers poster, why not? More PlayStation games here. I've been gaming all my life, man. And here's the proof. All of my old systems, GameCube, DS, Game Boy Advance, the Wii U, 64, Sega Genesis on top of the Sega Saturn, the original NES, a Wii, a Dreamcast. <laughs> Taking on this side of the PS2, the PS3, and the PS4. Oh yeah. <laughs> Some old school players, guys, that I was able to keep in decent condition from when I was a kid. Super Mario Sunshine, Thousand Year Door, Melee, Luigi's Mansion. Again, this is before the age of the internet, people. Gotta love it. Got a random Michael Jordan pop there. I am not a pop collector by any stretch of the imagination, but I did get that. Why not? A Jack specific Ice Mario level. Why not? Yeah, the Toad House. Really, really enjoyed reviewing this one. It's such a fun toy. We got some sealed 8 bit Mario figs there. And a Star Power Mario Luigi. Black and white Luigi and Mario in the normal colors. There's some more 2.5 Mario figures. That Galaxy statue, another GameCube, Mario Kart, Wii Fit. Um, this is a Chef Toad from Super Mario World from California. This is kind of the only original figure that they kind of created for Super Nintendo World. Everybody else is, I mean, it's basically just a normal Mario, normal Luigi, normal Peach figure. So how we with the one that was specific to Super Nintendo World. Another NES, there's some NES games, Mario Kart. I didn't even talk about the Mario Kart stuff. All right, taking it back over here real quick to the Mario section. Just a ton of Mario Kart Hot Wheels going in here. I've been playing Mario Kart my whole life since the Super Nintendo version. Yes, sir. So I had to have a representation of that on the shelf as well. A Michael Jordan Cologne basketball. Yep. <laughs> now, here's a movie, Supersonic Fighting, the egg, the giant egg from the movie. Here is Ellie statue from The Last of Us Part Two. I just ran out of room for that for the main shelf. Just a bunch of random Mario Happy Meal toys. Yeah. <laughs> the review station. This is where you see all of my action figure reviews. Kind of up close and personal here. The Marjack 79 logo, super cool. Some sealed figure arts. I love just some old school 1.0 Dragon Ball characters here. Uh, there's that Ghost Goku that I still don't know what to do with. It's the scissors that I always use to open up my figs. <laughs> and some sticky tie, and some super glue around here somewhere as well. But here's probably my favorite big yards, legendary Super Saiyan Goku. Very cool. Some more seal and a Kara Dune. Some Mandos, and Miles Morales, Ahsoka, Anakin. And some Sonic movie figs right there. Very cool, very nice. If you go up here, did some random posters, Mark Brothers 3, Spider-Man, Batman. The Luke Skywalker, Black Panther, Iron Man, there's some random Disney bags there. Disney pictures that we've drawn at Disney World, the drawing class over the years. Super Nintendo World bag, a random assortment of Happy Meal toys that I don't know what to do with, nobody wants them. <laughs> Super Mario Kart poster, a majillion, more boxes here, Amiibo cards. I just thought this was cool, so I kind of displayed them a little bit. All the Power Ranger stuff and the Ninja Turtles, Mario movie stuff. Uh, Civil War posters, really cool. Look at those boxes, 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 boxes. What does an action figure collector do with all his boxes? Nothing good, people. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing good. If you like organize your boxes into a very organized sector of your house, hey man, I'm proud of you. Listen, I'm so proud of you. I don't. I just throw them somewhere. Just, hey, eh, it's cool. It's cool, man. And that's going to do it, man. As you can see, I mean, if you watch that 2020 video compared to this one, you can see that the collection has uh, increased exponentially since then and virtually running out of space <laughs> to add more figures. But, you know, we always figure it out, man. If you've been with me for this long, uh, thank you. I love you, man. Truly. You know, I've had 
a lot of people have subscribed to the channel now. I'm not anything crazy. I'm still not considered like a huge YouTuber, but you know, 24,000 subscribers, that's pretty special to me. It really is. So, you know, and uh, I'll be able to do this without you guys. So definitely count it as a blessing. Uh, this is uh, really special and uh, it wouldn't be here without y'all. So, you know, I definitely do appreciate the sentiments and y'all just, you know, really watching all these videos, the travel stuff, the Comic-Con stuff, the action figure reviews, uh, the hunts everything man really are i'm truly appreciative of it so okay so comment below what's your favorite section you like the mario stuff the dragon ball stuff the marvel stuff the star wars stuff let me know man i really want to know the power ranger stuff tell me in the comments below now you can follow me at youtube.com slash smartjack79 i am also on facebook instagram and tiktok and as always my friends uh, i will see you guys on the next one I'll catch you guys later Flow like water, so I'm going mainstream.